What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome to the first 30. This is an older series that I used to do on the channel. I actually used to do it over 60 minutes and the basis is with a lot of games we know whether or not we're going to want to pursue this game within the first hour of gameplay. Um, I decided to go ahead and shave that down to the first 30 minutes of gameplay and I'm going to take a look at the first 30 minutes of play of a different game each week. Now these uh, videos will come up every Thursday morning and gonna play, like I said, a, a variety of games. Um, as everyone knows, I'm a big fan of strategy, tower defense, and survival games. So there will be a lot of that. And we are starting off episode one with niche, niche? I guess it depends on where you're from. But it is a turn-based genetics survival game. Let's uh, go ahead and hop right on in and see if I can't explain, as good as I know, what the game is all about. Now this is an indie title, it was just released on September 15th on Steam from Strayfawn Studio. And the turn-based survival is... I'm kind of anxious to see what I think about it. Now uh, we are going to start off our first time here on story mode, so let's go ahead and hop right on in. And we will see what we start off with. I think we start off with a uh, a kitty cat looking thing. We will see. Now the basis of the game, of course, is uh, it's a genetics game. So we want to breed our way to survival, greatness, and success. So by combining different traits from different mates, we'll find the right selection of traits for us. All right, here we go. Uh oh, the baddie incoming. Poor little kitty cat. Looks like dinner. Yep. Or maybe not. All right. Now there's are there's a lot of depth to this game. There is uh, sickness. There is elements. There are predators, of course. Um, whether or not we get to any of that in this first thirty minutes, I do not know. I I'm guessing we probably won't, and I'm hoping I'm actually able to survive the first thirty minutes. So we will see. All right. So here we go. Look around. You are all alone, stranded on an island far far from home kind of a cute little guy he's got kind of uh, some funky teeth going but you know besides that good looking uh, good looking lad see try and see if you can still walk click on Adam and then on a blue Paul symbol to move all right so I guess this is Adam there we go all right it seems you're not injured that's good news indeed it was a long day. Time to get some sleep. Click on the end day button at the top of the screen. You can also press space to end the day. Sorry, so I am assuming ending the day is uh, finishing your turn. We'll have to see how this works out. Oh, growing already. See, the world looks brighter today. Time to explore this new place. Use your mouse wheel or R and F on the keyboard to zoom. Left click and drag, indeed. Um, all right, and then Q and E will uh, move us around, change our perspective. Very nice. Seems to be plenty of food on the island. Let's find something to eat. Move around to find a berry bush and collect from it. Now we're, we happen to be right next to one. How convenient. All right, there we go. So this is our food uh, bar, obviously, the little apple down in the bottom right. Now each day, as far as I understand, we will use one food for each person in our colony. And we're also gonna get multiple turns. So it looks like we can actually pick, yeah, we can pick again in this day. See, the island seems to be deserted. A pathway of stones leads to another island in the distance. Maybe it's time to leave this place. Move Adam to the flower port. 
and interact with the pointy travel stone. Alright, that's pretty clearly right there. And looks like we're going to have to do that in the next day. So once again, another turn passing. Now, do I want to grab more food? It looks like there's still food there. Let's just go ahead and grab it. More food can't possibly hurt. Now, actually, that used up my entire day's worth of turns, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and get the heck out of here. The day cycle and the turns, definitely, I mean, it's pretty clearly the way to go. However, it seems like you'd get more accomplished in a day than just picking a couple of berries. I guess uh, it's all relative to your level of motivation. Now let's take a look here. All right, so this is all the genetics. Uh, so Adam here has got the speed. Uh, two runner legs plus two hind legs. Uh, he can swim. Uh, collecting, collecting the fruit, of course. Strength, so that's his attack. Venomous, ooh. Dang! Oh, Adam's got the venomous fangs. Fertility, very high fertility. Immunity to sickness. Uh, how far an animal can see. How far they can hear. How far they can smell. Uh, their defense. Stealth. Poison resistance and cold resistance. Okay, so over here we can actually change the perspective too. Now there's nothing else to see here on this island. It's telling us to get out. So let's just go ahead and head on out of here. Uh, we made it to the stone, but it is not letting me interact yet. So let's go ahead and start the new day. And we got rain going, so let's just GTFO and get off this rock. Let's see. Island travel. Yep. So let's go ahead and head to the next island and see if we can't find a mate. Now, uh, these little kitty cats only live for so long. Let me find it here. Or that's, uh, that's like their DNA. 50-50. Oh, is this their appearance? I'm not even certain. That's the basic genetics. Or here we go, right here. 18 days remaining. Adam is 7 days old. He's an adult. And he's got 18 days left to live. So we should probably hop to it with uh, finding a mate. <clears throat> See, it sounds like another animal living on this island. Find the wild animal and offer it food to join your tribe. You can switch your perception mode in the bottom right corner of the screen. Alright, there we go. So that was hearing. So... This is going to be smell, the first click. The second is going to be hearing. And then the third is going to take us back to our eyesight. Or our visual. So let's just go ahead and take a little move. And let's check the hearing again. Still not seeing anything. Let's take another move. And there we go, right there. We've got a... Uh, we've got a senorita. It's Eve right here. Offer five food to join your tribe. Indeed. So let's definitely get a little Eve action. And then... Shake tree. Clear the high grass. Uh, let's shake the tree. Okay, that dropped something. I'm not even certain what it was. Oh, here it is. A nut. Try to crack open the nut. Low chance to succeed. Uh, because of low cracking ability. Where is that at, I wonder? Let's see if we can't find the stuff here. Hmm, why am I not seeing anything regarding cracking nuts? Am I just missing it? Or is that incorporated into something else, I wonder? Swimming, collecting... I'm not certain. I'm going to kind of have to learn that as we go here. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. No luck on the nutcrack. 
One more try. Ah, no dice. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch back to visual mode. We got, uh... Oh, look at the spots! I'm gonna have to clear that grass off and take a look at the girl here. Nope. And we got a baddie there, too. Let's, uh... First things first, let's deal... Or, I guess we can't deal with the baddie. Let's move her to the nest. And then we do want to mate. There we go. All right, so mating in process. Now, if I look, okay, that's Adam. Where does it show the sex? Oh, there it is at the bottom. And then Eve. Yeah, there we go. We see uh, the little pregnant symbol. So we know Eve is uh, in the midst of giving birth. And let's see. Might as well have her gather some food in the process, and then we'll move dude here right over to that and have him gather a little as well just to keep the food supply up and then let's see what kind of oh wow twins two for the price of one I got a, a steam achievement there that is some good looking little critters right there let me tell you they're oh Eve is a little bit on the funky looking side but but those little guys are cute. All right, so let's go ahead and... Let's actually move back to there. I'll go ahead and grab some food now. That's a lot of mouths to feed, huh? Let's see, is Eve capable of doing anything else? Oh, there's still food left on that bush. Let's give that tree another shake. No such luck, and it looks like the little ones can't do anything quite yet. Now we take a look at Adam. Adam's gonna live 16 more days. Looks like Eve is gonna live 16 more days as well. All right, your first offspring has been born. Now you are a real family. The baby's genes are a mix of its parents' genes. Genes define how animals look and what abilities they have. Click on the family tree button in the bottom left corner when having an animal selected to see the family relations. Is that this one? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, so we have two females, actually. Um, that seems kind of wrong, but I'm thinking, uh, unless we get another male in the mix soon, there could be some uh, questionable relations here. Is that the where it wanted me to look? Animal's being warmed up by its pack. Very nice. I'm pretty sure that's what it was wanting me to look at, but the tutorial doesn't seem to be closing. Alright, let's take a look at these. Oh, it actually appears. I've actually completed all of these already. Eve is pregnant. She needs a nest. Yep, I did know that. A new baby has been born. All right, so we know we know about the baby already. And then... So we're good to go there. So I think it's just time to go ahead and end our turn. And let's move on. Okay, this is the end of the tutorial. Your story begins here. Will you search the world for your lost family or happily live with your new one? Will your species become fierce hunters, nomad fishers, or sneaky herbivores? Hmm. It's all up to me. Well, let's see. Uh, just clear this island off and see what we have available. Um, can I do anything with these gals right here quite yet? Doesn't appear. Let's get another bun in the oven. Uh, let's see. More food. More food is always a good idea. And then I kind of really feel like I need to be clearing some of this stuff. Just so I can look around. I guess I can have the little ones do some of that work as well. And it appears 
the date is done. Oh wow, there's another one already. This is uh, this is some very very crazy fast breeding going on here. <laughs> there is no doubt about it. All right, let's take dude here. Try to crack open nut. Sure, why not? All right, no such luck. Trying to dig up ground. Not really sure exactly what that is all about, to be honest with you. And then let's grab some more food. As, uh, you know, food's always a good thing. I guess Eve is not much of a tree shaker. <clears throat> that is unfortunate. Now, now I've got the problem of I've only got... Oh, actually, there's another berry bush. So there is another food source here. Might be able to stretch this one out a little bit. Poor Adam has got, what, 14 days left, so two more weeks. A fortnight, and Adam is done for, so... Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'll bring Adam around and clear the rest of this stuff off here. Now, I do need to check, is this new one a male? Oh, it's another female. <clears throat> so we've got, uh... What is that, Mesere? Ananus and Isis. Hmm. All right, let's move little Isis over. We got lots of females going here. Adam, uh, you're going to get put to the test, I believe. Oh, let's see. Do some clearing there, and it appears there's another berry bush. Oh, there is. We got, we got some food available here, and there's the nuts. I can actually see it down there now. So I tell you what, let's space these out. I feel like Adam should be uh, on breeding duty here. Let's see, let's bring this one back up to work this tree. <clears throat> this one... ...can work that tree. And then I think that might be it for the turn. I'll just clear some more of the shrubbery here. And what can old Eve do? Let's see, let's clear that out so we can see what's going on. Banish. No, I don't want to do any banishing. A little tree shaking. Uh, no, no dice. And it looks like we are all done there. <clears throat> Alright, we got the rain coming. I'm not sure exactly what that's going to bring. It actually appeared like uh, the fruit trees livened up a bit, so that may actually be a thing. And Adam is actually going to have to get busy here. <laughs> as much as I hate to say it. <laughs> Let's see, it's pick... The, it seems like we're burning through the food awfully quick. Now we've got a really big family, I think that may be part of it. And somehow I have been blessed with massive amounts of females hmm and what can she do give a tree another shake well there's another nut <clears throat> all right here we go what is Adam's life expectancy okay he's got 11 days left Let's, uh, first thing, let's clear that. Let's move. Actually, there we go. We will mate with Mesere. Oh, and that means that uh, Mama Eve here is going to have to take a walk. Let's bring her... Let's just bring her over here and uh, keep her close to that tree. We'll let uh, the pregnant gal move over to the nest. And then we'll bring Adam over here to do some more impregnating. So, and then this little guy can go over to this tree and start collecting some food. So we've got three different food sources here, plus the tree with the occasional nuts. 
this may end up bumping uh, bumping the food up a little. Now, what does this root do? I'm just not even certain exactly what it does. Eve with her tree shaking. This uh, this family has grown really, really fast. Oh, whoa, whoa! Or that's the baby. All right. Or that wasn't Eve with the tree shaking. Eve's over here now. Good gosh. <laughs> All their heads move in unison, letting you know uh, who has taken a turn and who has not. Uh, that's kind of it's kind of awesome. All right, let's start off here. More food, more food. Thank you very much for all the food. Let's see if Adam could do some nutcracking now. What about Eve? Can she, uh... She's a berry collecting fool. That is for certain. Alright, so we're good there. Looks like we can go ahead and... Or no, can't uh, can't plant the seed quite yet. All right, we're up to 20 food now. Ooh, ooh, there's a baddie. Oh crap! It's gonna be gone next wave, huh? Oh, I'm I'm kind of screwing up here now. See, Adam is not much of a nutcracker either. No more nuts coming out of the tree. All right, so we're using what? One, two, three, four, five. We're using six food a day. That seems a little bit excessive. Uh, that, that looks like some kind of sickness or whatever. Common cold. This animal is sick due to low immunity or because it was infected by another animal. Oh, that's not good. All right, let's move you over here. Or can you not move? Wow. What was it? Whoa, 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 what was that? It looks like something was going on over here in the back. Maybe that, maybe that was all in my imagination. I'm not really positive. Oh, it's a crab. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get the crab. All right, let's see, what else can we do? Okay, dude here, who is that anyway? That's Isis. Isis needs to move back over here and get back. Oh, there's more crabs. That is kind of interesting there. All right, we are getting loaded up on food now. Holy crap, look at us go. Now, little guy, or there we go. We moved him off, now he's sickly. I'm kind of wondering if I should isolate him from the rest of the herd. It seems like I should, right? Alright, let's go like this for the moment. We've still got one turn here to take, but... Ooh, is the crab still going to be there? Yeah, this little sick dude has got... Oh! Alright, we got issues now. Let's move these away. I don't want, uh, I don't want the sickness. That is for dang sure. We have that, that crab still cruising around? Oh, he's down in the water. Hmm. I wonder if you can get him. Oh, and the tree sprung back up. Actually, that may just be a graphics thing. It's going up and down. Let's uh, let's see. Let's give the tree another shake. Ooh, did we lose our berry bush? Or no, we didn't. Let's see, 27 food. We'll uh, get the, get the tree shaking going on. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Let's kill this crab. Oh, wait a minute. That's the berry bush. Attack. Yes, I want to attack. Isis can't attack? What's up with that? 
Hmm. Something funny there, that's for sure. Alright, well, let's assume we can't get any more food there. Let's see if we can't move this one over to attack somewhere. Oh, the Nutcracking's not doing me any good here now. And I need to actually get Adam back over, but Adam is sick. But seven days left. Do I have any more males? Female. There's a male. Okay. Oh, the other sick one is a male as well. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. I could be in a bit of trouble here. Now, why can I not attack this crab, I wonder? Oh, crabs can only be attacked from behind. I see. So I would have to move somebody like there. And now we've got it cornered. Let's try that. Let's just uh, leave it at that. Skip the day. See if the crab will still be there. Oh, everybody is sick now. Bad things are bound to happen here. And I've got no children's. I got no children's. All right, Krabby. Krabby. What the heck? There we go. I was gonna say, what is this crab invincible? Oh wow, the crab is worth some food. All right, so who do we have here? We have Nanudo, and we have a Nanice. Let's see. We need to get some breeding going on here. Male, female, what is the problem? Those two don't like each other? Or uh, sick people don't want to perform? Or what's the deal there? See, this one is... Isis is not sick. Sick, sick, not sick. So I've got two healthy females. I've got three healthy females in one sickly male. I've got to get some, uh, get another, uh, baby on the making here. Let's see, let's move this one back over here. And then a little more food collecting. Now these, these guys are just terrible, terrible nutcrackers. Oh man, the sickliness is getting intense. Let's see, who do we have there? We got a male and a female. It, it actually appears that they don't want to breed for some reason. I think I need to get Adam over there to get the job done. Or is Adam. Oh, there we go. What about Monsieur? Alright, let's get some breeding going on there. Let's move that one there. We'll take Nasir and put her up in the nest so she can give uh, give birth there. We're up to, what, 30 food? Wow! Definitely getting the food stores. Oh, finally, some nutcracking success. It's about darn time. And what is that? Infected by leech being drained by a leech. Groom it to remove the parasite. Hmm. How does that work? Lick to cure bleeding and remove parasite. Well, let's get rid of the parasite first. Oh, the parasite went in as food. Hmm. That seems a little... A little... little I don't know. A little disgusting. These crabs are definitely getting a little uppity, though. Are they going to come up here and attack, I wonder? I guess we will, we'll find out soon enough. Let's grab some more food. Actually, I've got just gangbusters on the food. You'd think people are going to be dying off here soon. I need to get myself a fresh male going here, as my male situation is definitely getting a little sketchy. And they're sick, too. Mm. All right, let's get Mama out of the way here. Let's get Papa out of the way here. 
and we're going to hope for the best. So what do we have here? Sickness. Some biomes are especially full of infectious or infection sources to lower the chance of being sick. Make sure an animal has two different immunity genes. Very nice. Where do we see those? The immunity. Oh, there we go. Immunity to sickness. I've only got one immunity gene there, it looks like. All right, let's wreck up some crabs. These crabs are tough. Holy crap. Insanely tough. Still holding good on the food situation though, so. And this dude, oh, it's another female. Wow. Adam has got a parasite now. Let's get Adam over here. Let's get some breeding going on. Can't move the little guy yet. Get a little supper time here. Wow. Yeah, definitely racking up the food. Not having a food issue this playthrough, that is for certain. Of course, the nutcracking success from this group is just straight up awful. Now, however, that has been the first 30 minutes, though, and that is a quick look at Niche, a genetics turn-based survival game. It actually looks, you know, obviously it's a casual game. Uh, it's turn-based, so, you know, there's it's very casual as far as uh, how much time you need to take. You can take your sweet old time, just enjoy the game. Um, uh, I actually may dive in a little bit further into this as... The first 30 minutes has definitely got me curious as to what's going to come next here. However, that will do it for now, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, click that like button and please subscribe to the channel and check back next Thursday for another first 30. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.